Ted and Eva, and thank you so much for watching Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show with my very own Asian Pacific American twist. Joining us now are the creators and members or stars of Super Gay Asian Cabaret, meet J. Elaine Marcos and Kevin Yee. Welcome, Hello. guys. Hey. Thanks for having us. Hey. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Welcome back, J. Elaine. Oh, thank you. It's nice to be home. Frequenting. Yes, I yeah. like that. Home. In the studio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, I mentioned that you guys are the creators and stars of Super Gay Asian Cabaret. Yes. For those that don't know, tell us a little bit more. Well, it's a show. Uh, we all do improv and stand-up comedy. And, and write, music. Our own, yeah. write our own stuff. Kevin writes his own music. Uh -huh. And and we uh, have another friend, Richard, who's not here with us, yes. unfortunately. <laughs> uh, yeah, we write different songs from our perspective of being Asian performers. Right. Um, and a lot of things happen in our heads we just put it to music. Yeah. They might not be completely appropriate, <laughs> but when it's set to music, everything's fine. Yes, right? It's, it's funnier that way. <laughs> yeah. And then Jaylene, you know, is a Broadway star. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a Broadway, Broadway star. star as well. I've also been on Broadway uh -huh. and Richard as well. So it's also we're parodying ourselves as musical theater performers as well. Uh -huh. So yeah. There's a mixture there. Since we know what it's like to do musicals, uh -huh. we've done it for so long. Yeah. We've done it seriously. <laughs> like just taking, just thinking of the moments, because I think about the first time I did Miss Saigon, right. and I was so proud to finally be in a Broadway musical, uh -huh. and all my dance training, all my singing brought me to that spot. And when I remember the first time when I was on stage, uh -huh. I was in a bikini, <laughs> being a prostitute, <laughs> in three inch heels, and facing upstage so my booty was to the audience right. and I was just moving like this and I realized I've made it yeah. because I was half naked facing up stage right. using Doesn't all matter. the dance training. Yeah. You know, I thought, I made it. I made it. So does that Broadway make it baby. in the super gay Asian yeah. Right. moments? Yeah. We have a moments. whole sketch at the beginning where we actually like parody most of our experience our own. In, our, in theater and we talk about stuff like that. What, what about you? Yes. He did uh, well, King and I. So. Yeah. I, ha I did my first job uh -huh. was the King and I when I was six years old oh and it was opposite God. Rudolf Nureyev. Uh -huh. if, I don't know if you know who he is, but he's a Russian ballet dancer, so right. he's not even Asian. He uh -huh. wore a lot of eye makeup. <laughs> but back then it was kind of okay because right. I think it was like the 80s when that happened mm -hmm. and now not so much. Right. Um, but uh, one yeah. of my, we talk about is that you know, in these diverse shows when they're uh -huh. like, oh, we want diversity, we want like colorblind casting, right. but we can only have one Asian in the show. Just I one see. Asian, and they can't be a lead. They have to be in the back. In the back. <laughs> so that oh is So we do gosh. worry that a little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give everything away. I want to give everything away. No. But, but, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. But that's just something that we've, again, it's just something we've been through. Uh -huh. So yeah. we could comment on it, but instead we're just going to show you what has happened several times when we have been part of cast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, So wow. in a way, we, we're talking about it but we're also just showing you this is what we've been this through actually, before. Yeah and I can't believe yeah. that this actually happens. What's the response you guys get after doing this show? Do people come up to you and it's like are you for real? Is this for real? Well I think they've had so much fun. <laughs> yeah I mean, it's not that's like the we're thing. Like, yeah. yeah we're not like I, I think they get the uh, message uh -huh. kind of but. And, and we use the what is you know um it's not negative, but uh -huh. it's, yeah. oh, this is what we've had to do. <laughs> yeah. But am I grateful for having to be that one yeah. to, I shot ping pong balls out my hoo-ha <laughs> uh, as one of my roles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Was I grateful to play that role? Absolutely. Right. So yes, I am making fun of it in a way, yet I'm so glad I was the one who got to do it because yeah. I feel like I can take it to another level in right. which it's not just, not just a stereotype, but uh -huh. it's actually, Fun. So I feel like our show is yeah. showing that, hey, by the way, we are diverse. Yeah. But that's not really what we're showcasing. We're showcasing, oh, by the way, we're having fun. Did you want to come to this party? We just happen to be in a package that happens to be uh, not as represented yeah. in the yeah. maybe entertainment community. Uh -huh. But we're having fun, bottom line. Yeah, yeah exactly. and Jane Lane is like, I mean, can I toot her horn for a second? <laughs> There's no tooting. I'm going to toot her horn. She's like eight-time Broadway star. And actually, when I first got uh -huh. to New York, like I, that's how I know about her is that she's this big star. Right. And not only is she a star that has done shows like Miss Saigon uh -huh. and these shows that she would play an Asian character, but she's also played characters that are not necessarily written as Asian, right. like L Lily St. Saint Regis, Regis and yeah. Annie. So she's really opened the doors for other Asian performers. Right. She's one yeah. of those people that yeah. have. And so I, that's how I knew her back in New York before we even moved here. Yeah, how but, did you guys even meet? <laughs> well, we've known each other 
in New York, in New York. In New York. of uh-huh. each other. And uh-huh. then the first time we worked together, I it was a reading of a musical that I had written. Uh-huh. He wrote just, a musical called uh, Jeremy Lin. Jeremy okay. Lin's oh, a musical. I think I've seen the video on YouTube. That's yeah. me. Oh. That is me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a lot of videos. There's so many videos. Yes. It's always surprising when people know. <laughs> but then I wrote into a musical and we did uh-huh. a couple readings in New York and right. I wanted J Lane to come play. And then we both moved to LA with around the same time. The same time. But uh, not really knowing not what each really other knowing. was. But when you move from New York and mm. you come here, there's a sense of, okay, now I'm here. Yeah. I'm kind of scared. Right. And all of a sudden we kind of just we connected and we're like, do you want to have coffee? Yeah. <laughs> or, and we yeah. realized, oh, we moved here. Oh my gosh. Or yeah. how do you feel? So right. we kind of connected on that level. Mm-hmm. And then we also realized that we love comedy so much. And that's mm-hmm. why I came out here to pursue more film and television. And Kevin came out here to pursue more of his music and his comedy right. and creating that. Uh, all your songs and uh, all your videos to focus it more as opposed to being in New York and being in theater. Exactly. We actually needed to step away from the theater mm-hmm. in order to really focus on our own work. Right. Because gratefully, we'd, we'd work consistently, but sometimes when you're working consistently, it's uh-huh. just hard to focus on the real thing that you want to do. You, yeah, your yeah. true passion. Yeah. And I love that you guys created your own <laughs> super gay Asian cabaret show. Yes. Um, and it's playing twice in July. Tell yes. me a little yes. bit more where. Yeah, at Second City Hollywood, uh-huh. where uh, I, I've i studied there for the past year uh-huh. and a half. I graduated from there. And then, yeah. Kevin, we also have a improv group together. And what's crazy is that we go from working in Broadway houses uh-huh. of 2,000 people, 1,500 right. people, to being at uh, small black, small box, small black theater. box theaters. And there's mm-hmm. five people in the audience. And we realize it's not about the audience. Yeah. It's about just... Artistic, artistic expression. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, artistic when you think expression. about like how much it would cost to go see Annie on Broadway, it was like right. hundred and twenty something right. dollars, and and Second City is like ten dollars. Yeah, or I love <laughs> that, and it's original. It's original. Yeah. And it's all and it's origi- Asian, yeah. and it's diversity, and mm-hmm. like that's something that's really important. That is we that need to celebrate. Yeah, diversity is very rare in the comedy community and, so and the true. entertainment industry in general. Yeah. So, so true. For us to like be able to have that platform is really mm-hmm. exciting, and to go, you know, do our own because we also don't have a direct or a writer or anything in between us oh, that wow. buffers us from the audience. Right. So this is our true experience <laughs> that we're like, you know, exposing First hand, and making yeah. fun of. And like yeah. I think we'd be scared to have a director because in a way we'd say, <laughs> We're doing, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. If they someone, would pull us back. They would just say, are you sure you, you want to do that? I'm not sure I should do anything, but I'm going to do it. But yeah. if there's no one in between right. saying, Yeah, we wait take a lot of risks. Yeah, Our you do comedy, take, a take a lot of risks. The chemistry you guys have is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have, have great chemistry. I've even seen your music video for Gay Love. Yeah, that, oh my that's God. Kevin's creation. Yeah, Kev- yeah. Kevin, congratulations. Yeah. You just Thank released you. your he album. He edits it all. He writes the music. He <laughs> yes, <does. laughs> I have a brand new album uh-huh. on iTunes and CD Baby. And then I make all these videos on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. And Jeremy Lin was one of them, but then Jay Lane's been on a lot of them yeah. since I've moved here. Yeah, and so. Richard is also part and of it. Richard yeah. as well, Because yeah. what it is is that with Kevin's videos oh. for Gay Love, and he recently did a new one which was released last, was it oh, last, last week yeah. or so, <laughs> but it was called Sassy Sassy Black Friend. And he oh. also always has two dancers mm-hmm. on his who flanks him. It's who myself you. and Richard. I was yes. wondering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he who looks great was? in drag. Yes, he does. He, he comes with different like, makeup <laughs> I was slightly too. jealous. <laughs> I know. I have to work with her right. all the time. I know. <laughs> she makes this gay boy stronger. She's got this magic way. She's got that magic way. Mm, yeah. Super Gay Asian Cabaret. Yes. Where do we go? Um, Second City Hollywood. Uh-huh. Sec- uh, yeah, uh, we have a uh, secondcityhollywood.com. Mm-hmm. That's where you can find the tickets. Okay. Um, and then also our Facebook group, we have Super Gay Asian Cabaret. You put okay. that in, you'll find this. We're probably the only one. Yeah. We have yeah, to well, yeah, no, I'm are. pretty sure Super Gay Asian Cabaret, it'll only come to us. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for thank being you. here today. And thank, thank you. you for sharing your story. Oh, thank oh, you, thank so, you much. so much for having us. Yeah. Again, for more information on Super Gay Asian Cabaret, which is playing July 15th and the 22nd, make sure to go to your website that's on the screen. Time for a quick break, but we have more entertainment and lifestyle news when we return.